All right, so you can see the bike is a complete and total mess after crossing the park. So decided to take the chains off of both bikes. This is the Kona. Took the chains off and I marked one with a safety pin from the Cannondale. So I knew which one was which. Just makes it a lot easier to uh, get the chains real clean and get the bikes clean because the pulley wheels and the uh, the, f the front just make it's just a lot easier without having the chain in the way to scrape off the mud and, and really wash it off real good. Safety pin drill. Just a little Ryobi, ninety nine buckers. So came with three nozzles. This is the medium one. You'll see a good blast this when I get it. Uh, the other one's power wash. I don't want to use that. The other one is really just more of a spray down, sort of the blue one. All right, so here's the process. So hook up the hose, get the bike wet, and then I like to give it, put some soap on it. That's just the ho that's just the pool ladder. I've got it leaned up against there. So I've been using the WD-40 bike cleaner. I've got it in a muck off bottle because the WD-40 bottle was terrible. So I'd wet it, spray some soap on. Here you can see me with the Kona. I've got a little uh, tire lever, plastic tire lever. I'm just kind of scraping off the big pieces. So working my way through there, I kind of hook it on so it doesn't move around with the power. Get the whole bike wet. I try really hard not to spray into the any of the, the gaskets or any of the bearings. So I'm really careful around the bottom bracket and the steer tube, you know, make sure that, that I don't get a lot of water in there. Um, it does help to hook on to something. The, the repair stand works real good too. So I'll get it all nice and wet, try to blast as much of the mud off of the tires and things as I can. And then uh, just spray it down with the WD-40 cleaner and uh, I use a sponge to just uh, wipe it off, try to get as much out as I can all the way working around the bike. And then really the power washer does the rest. I mean, it just blasts the mud right off the rims and off the, the tires. And uh, it just does such a fantastic job. Um, you know, just make sure you don't squirt it into the bottom bracket you know or you know too much into the wheel bearings or anything like that because you will screw them up by washing the grease out but it works well you know you do have to get in there with your hands and uh and really try to get some of the mud out in the in the grass and things like that that gets stuck in there it's just there is always going to be some of that going on um i never think that i'm going to get the bikes perfect from you know the outside i always come in and do a little Voice more clean you saw me take the chains off, so took took both of the chains off. Now, what you'll notice what I did is I marked the Cannondale chain with one of my safety pins from my bib numbers, so uh, I know which chain's which. I uh, just wanted to take the chains off, one, because they really do need a deep clean, and two, because it just helps you get into the pulley wheels and stuff like that on the bike a little better. It helps to... Uh, make it easier to clean out the drivetrain, uh, to get a lot of the leaves and mud, sticks and things like that to get jammed up in there, because that becomes a real pain in the butt. You can see how muddy the chains are, and uh, they really need a good thorough cleaning. So I am going to put them here in the little uh, ultrasound cleaner. So I'm just going to just fold these up, put them down in there. Fill that up. Doing lately, at least. What I've been doing lately is uh, use. I used to use Simple Green, but I ran out. Of it. So now what I've been using is just to use the spray degreaser. I know that's not really the purpose of it, but I just put a little spray. Just put a little spray of that in there, just to give it a little bit of solvent. But really, just this unit and the hot water itself really cleans it off. So this will go for about two minutes. I'll run it through a couple cycles. You'll see uh, it all starts to bubble up and stuff. It really works its way down deep into the into the chain. Uh, but then the most important thing after that is really dry the chain. Um, if you can if you can blow it off with the air compressor, that helps to get some of the water out of it. Um, really dry it really well, and then you got to put it back on the bike immediately. 
and lube it up. So um, last week, cleaned the bike, forgot to re-lube the chain right away, and you can see it starts rusting immediately. So make sure when you do that, that you, uh, when you clean it real well, that you make sure that you lube it up right away and get, get all sides of it. I've been using the Nix Friction um, chain oil, chain lube. It's the best I've ever found. You know, I uh, usually can just get away with six, uh, six drops of it on the whole chain. Uh, when I'm using it in between, when I do a thorough clean like this, I usually go with more like 10 drops of it. Uh, usually then I'll take a paper bag, you know, I'll run the chain through with a paper bag on the outside to spread the lube. I'll rub it in and then I'll just thoroughly wipe it off. And um, it's the best chain lube I found for dry, wet, any conditions. Keeps the chains really nice. And I keep checking with the chain checker to check for wear and replace them. Usually two chains a year on the cross bike, usually one every season. I don't ride it all year long. So uh, a couple of new chains every fall. But so far that's been my maintenance routine and it's been pretty good for me. So hopefully it works for you. Well, you can see how clean the chain is coming already. Um, I, I do usually use old toothbrushes and just agitate it a little. Uh, but you can see really that water is just totally grimy with the seat with the solvent in there. So I flip the chain, flip it over, put it in there. Now I'm going to have this vessel here. I'm going to take the chain out and put it in there. When this one is done, and then I'll rinse it. You can really see how clean the chain is. No dirt in it, it's clean. It will come out better than that. All right, and now uh, chains are going back on, so I use the uh, park tool to pop the quick link back in there. It works great. And I just make sure that uh, chain's on right, no, it's not snagged or anything. Um, and then you put the lube on. So this is the Nix Friction Lube NFS. Uh, no scent really to it at all. It's just a great lube. Uh, it doesn't take much. I usually put about 10 drops on uh, when I when the chain is totally clean like it is here. Uh, throughout the season, uh, just without cleaning, maybe three to six drops uh, will be enough to when your chain starts to squeak a little. So I just put that on. Then I use a, a plastic bag and I just run the chain through and the plastic bag will help to distribute the lube across the rollers uh, and then I just wipe it off with a rag and then you run it through with the with the wipe I can't do that with one hand that's it you're good to go